my beautiful friends, it's Julia here from Made by the Chef and today we are making a Moroccan classic lamb tagine. This is going to be an absolute beauty. So get a load of this. This is my mum's. It's about 50 years old. It kind of looks like a tagine. And what is a tagine? Well, it's actually the pot that the tagine is cooked in. It's a, this is ultimately a sweet and savoury stew because Moroccan flavours are very much about that mixture of sweet and savoury and not too spicy, but a real nice little combination. I love those sort of flavours. And then the tagine is the dish that it's cooked in. And generally the tagine looks a little bit like that. I mean, this is a bit of an old version that my mum's got, but an actual tagine itself, normally made out of earthenware, like terracotta, and it's got quite a high conical lid. I loaned my tagine out to someone, so I'm using my mum's old pot, and this will do just as good. It's still got a little bit of height in the lid, so when the tagine is cooking in there, when the lamb stew is cooking, those lovely flavours and the steam and everything else will all be circulating around in there. And that is going to go in the oven. So, what are we going to do? In the lamb tagine, what have I got? I have got lamb neck fillet. I love a bit of lamb neck fillet. It's so tender. It's wonderful. The, then it doesn't have to cook so long. You can use shoulder. You can use leg. No problem at all. Then I've got onions and red peppers. Nice little bit of flavour there. I'm going to be putting in my little secret ingredient, I like to call it, is roasted garlic. And that's going to go halfway through the cooking. I love a bit of roasted garlic. So easy to do. Just whole bulbs. I put a little bit of olive oil on it. You don't have to. Bung it in the oven, about 40 minutes. And then they're all soft and you can just squeeze out those cloves. And then what you do is you can stick them in a jar, put a bit of olive oil over them in the fridge. Done. And then you've got roasted garlic. Infuse your oil with it and everything. Amazing. I'm going to put a little bit of crystallised ginger in there. I love that flavour. And of course, what makes the tagine special? Well, it's those spices and it's the sweetness. Where's the sweetness coming from? Well, it's coming from apricots and it's coming from honey. So we're going to put a little bit of honey in there. We're going to put a little bit of apricots. These are beautiful, sort of semi-dried, soft apricots from Turkey. They are amazing. And of course, that spice. What goes in a tagine? something called Ras El Hanout. Now, Ras El Hanout essentially means the head spice. It's the lead spice. This is like the king of the spices. So when you go into a spice shop in Morocco, this will be a special one that the spice seller will mix up for you. What goes in a Ras El Hanout? Well, actually, it could be a whole combination of spices. Normally a minimum of about 12, could be up to about 48, all kinds of spices, things that you've probably never even heard of. But you'll have things like cinnamon, cumin, coriander, galangal, mace, ginger. Just, honestly, I could go on. Chili, black pepper, all kinds of stuff. The list is endless. So I'm going to put a bit of Russell and then you can get it from any of the supermarkets. Come in little pots like this. Get it from any of the supermarkets. Got a really wonderful aromatic aroma just really amazing really sweet and divine not overly spicy but just more aromatic now if you can't get rice el hanout don't worry about it just mix up your own spices so if you've got cumin if you've got coriander if you've got cinnamon ginger ground ginger mace nutmeg anything like that ground cloves anything like that mix a little bit up just a little quarter teaspoon of each one and that will give you that same combination. Amazing. So, without further ado, what am I going to do? We're going to cook our tagine. Right, now, what you want to do first with your lamb, and get your lamb, and you actually want to put a little bit of honey over the lamb. Okay, so I'm just using good old bog standard runny honey. That will do from the supermarket. So you want to just drizzle over a bit of runny honey and you want to put some of your Ras El Hanout in there as well. So you kind of want to marinate the lamb while you cook off the other ingredients. So you're just going to mix it together and have that just sitting on the side ready for when you need it. Okay, so I've got the fire going, low to medium heat, I've got a bit of olive oil in the pan. Okay, and we're going to start off on the stove, I've left the lamb to marinate use that in a minute we're going to start off on the stove and then this is all going to go in the oven 
Now, get your onions and your red pepper, pop them in. Oh, a nice little sizzle. I love that. I love making this tagine. It's one of my absolute favourites. It's a total winner. I used to make it when I had my catering business. It's a total winner. And, uh, and in fact, I actually did win a little chefy competition with this one as well. So, uh, it's always a bit of fun. So I'm going to give that a little stir. We're going to let that sweat down. And then we're going to add our lamb. So the onions are sweated down and the peppers. And now I'm going to put the lamb in. Right. So we're going to get that in there. Oh, that is lovely. Stir that up. want that lamb just to start sizzling a little bit. I'll turn the heat up a bit. Just get it sizzling a little bit. And what we can do is we can always add a little bit more of the spice mix. Yeah, so whether you're using bahara or ras el hanu or even just a selection of your own spices, just whack a little bit more in there. And we're going to stir that up. Now the only other thing you need put a bit of stock in there and what you're going to do you're just going to pour a bit of stock and I would use beef or lamb stock if you haven't got that then go for chicken or vegetable that's also fine you want to stick a bit of stock in there you're going to put it pour it in so it just covers just covers the lamb you don't want loads of water it is going to thicken up as it cooks so you want it enough to just cover the lamb and then what we're going to do is we're going to pop the lid on and we're going to put that in the oven at around 180, 200 degrees centigrade for about 30 minutes. Right, so there it is. I've put this stock in there and you can see the lamb just peeking out of the top. And that is perfect. That's just the right amount of water and that is going to go in the oven to start with for about half an hour. Look while the tagine is simmering away and cooking about halfway before we get it out to add the other bits let me show you something so this is the garlic so this is garlic that i roasted okay so i roasted whole bowls of garlic and honestly it is so worth it you've got to do it so look at them so peel away the skin just peel it all away and then it's all soft and squidgy and then all it is it just pops out the garlic just pops out. Look at that. Look at that. It's just all soft. And you don't even have to puree it down. It's all soft and squidgy. And you know, the flavour is so much more intense. It's just so much more pungent. Just fantastic. And that will just add an extra little bit of flavour, a bit of depth of flavour to your tagine. Right, my lovely little friends. I have got the tagine out of the oven. So it's been about half an hour. Look at that. It is amazing. Oh my goodness me. It's so aromatic. It's got such a beautiful flavour. Now right now it's still a little bit watery. Okay. I'm going to let you have a little look. There you go. So you can see. All nice juicy. It's got a lovely little colour on it now. And I'm going to go ahead and add all the other ingredients. So I'm going to put in there my apricots. And I pop that in. There you go. I love lots of juicy apricots. I think they're fantastic. So I'm going to put the apricots in. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and add that amazing, amazing pureed, well, squishy, squashy garlic that we roasted. So I'll pop that in there as well. And then I'm going to add my crystallised ginger. So there you go. Got my crystallised ginger as well. And I'm also going to add my honey. So I'm going to add just another little drizzle of honey. Just a little bit more. There we go. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And that now is all going to thicken up a little bit more. So I'm going to let that go back in the oven for about another 15 minutes. And here it is, my friends. The tagine is ready in my mum's old 50 60 year old pot how amazing is that 
and I've made myself a little bit of couscous to go with it because of course Moroccan tagine you've got to have a bit of Moroccan couscous right so I've made some giant couscous I toasted it in a bit of olive oil then added some stock and let that simmer down that's giant couscous if you're doing the thin couscous the small one then all you have to do is toast it in a bit of olive oil then pour some hot water on it cover it and you just let it soak off that's it simple as that done 10 minutes later couscous is ready so let's reveal let's dish it up because oh my gosh this is amazing wow 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 look at that and there's my couscous oh my goodness me you can't see it let me show you that couscous look at that that is giant couscous let me give that a little stir got my little Moroccan bowl here so I'm going to put a bit in there Go. Now I'm going to serve up the tagine. Look at that. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. All those apricots, let's get some of those juices in there. The lamb is so tender, it is virtually melt in the mouth. Now, to finish it off, of course, we've got to have a little bit of the old pine nuts. So, pop them on top. And I've actually got a little bit of parsley because I ran out of coriander. It's all right. And there you go. That is just marvellous. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. My little love in a bowl, I think you could call it. Bit of tagine, aromatic, sweet and spicy tagine. Giant couscous. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Spot on. Melt in the mouth now. Fantastic. Have a go. Have a wicked day. Stay at home with me. And I'll see you again soon.